Alright everyone, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video here along Highway 180 as we drove from the outskirts of Fresno up to Kings Canyon National Park. So me and my grandpa decided to take a day trip here up to Kings Canyon National Park to check out the General Grant tree here in early October of 2023. And let me tell you folks, we were just absolutely blown away by just how large these trees here are in Kings Canyon National Park. And I can only imagine that nearby Sequoia National Park has just as big, if not bigger, trees than the ones here in Kings Canyon. We were absolutely blown away by what we saw here today. One thing I will admit is that this area of California is quite a bit of unfamiliar territory for me. I have not explored much of the southern half of the Sierra Nevada mountain range, especially south of Highway 120 and Yosemite National Park. I'm not sure what I was expecting about this drive when I drove up to Kings Canyon National Park here along Highway 180, but man, it is a really steady climb there out of Fresno. You don't really get any breaks or anything like that except there near Yokuts Valley, or formerly known as Squaw Valley, before you just start that really long climb up to Kings Canyon National Park where you just basically go up about 4,000 feet without any really any breaks or passing lanes. They have plenty of turnouts and stuff like that, of course, but man, I can imagine how frustrating that drive must be, especially for larger vehicles. I really hope to do more exploring of Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Parks in the future because me and my grandpa only explore just a small fraction of Kings Canyon National Park there near the General Grant Grove of Giant Sequoias. Of course, I would really love to check out down there by the General Sherman Tree in Sequoia National Park. And of course, we're traveling along the General's Highway right here in this part of the video, which I actually recorded as we were making our way over to a scenic overlook. And we just passed through this area right here that was just completely devastated by a fire. It was just really sad to see. But it's just the sad state of California these days, especially when you see so many burn scars from many of the fires that we've had in California here over the last decade. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction here to Kings Canyon National Park. 
I really enjoyed my time here and my grandpa did too because he's never seen the sequoia trees for himself so I'm really glad that I was able to plan this trip and be able to show him these giant trees at least once in his lifetime and I'm sure we'll get a chance to go out to Sequoia National Park here in the future too because I really want to check out the General Sherman tree and then of course drive the entirety of the General's Highway especially when conditions are pretty good especially in the summertime of course this road isn't even open in the winter time because of the high elevation and just dangerous driving conditions and stuff like that so yeah I really hope you guys will be looking forward to that in a future video down the line Alright folks, I'm going to end off the video right here. Like I said, I really hope you all enjoyed this video here driving up to Kings Canyon National Park. This is definitely one of the more underrated national parks in the western U.S. and especially here in California. As I mentioned in the video, it's often overshadowed by nearby Sequoia and Yosemite National Parks. But Kings Canyon definitely has its own charm too, so let me know what else I should check out in Kings Canyon National Park in the comments. i love to hear about it. Alright, I hope you all have an amazing day. And take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one.